How you doing, YouTube? Matt, Massive Beer Reviews. Back to yet another review. Not just any other review. Mystery beers. Brown bag mystery beers. I love the brown bag mystery beers. One of my new favorite wrappers. Not wrapper yo, but wrapper container. Um, yeah. This one comes courtesy of Anthony. Thank you very much, dude. He sent me a box of Ohio off. Some of it mystery, some of it not. And we're going to dive into this sucker. Beautiful brown bag. Kind of creepy serial killer like writing on it with electrical tape. It just, you know, it's like bondage, but in beer mystery form. Yeah. So, what are mystery beers? People wrap them up. Oh, geez, that was hard to get off. People wrap up beers, they put them in the mail, they send them to me. Um, I pour them into a glass as I am right now. Uh, then I talk about them. I, you know, kind of guess the style of beer, what is in it, whether it's just a core four beer, adjuncts, barrels, all that stuff. And then every now and then I'll guess the beer. I think two of Anthony's three mystery beers I've guessed and I, oh, both of those I got exactly right. Um, they were kind of easy, being perfectly honest with you. Um, so yeah, let's see how we do on this one. Um, yeah, what does that look like? It looks like a barrel aged I don't want to go stout because it's a bit lighter than a stout. Uh, maybe a quad. It could be a Belgian quad or it could be an old ale, a barley wine, something like that. It's a darker beer, a malt forward beer. It looks barrel aged, at least from a distance. Let's see if we can get a nose on her. Yeah, that's huge. That's gigantic. That's huge, just rich, delicious bourbon barrel. Hmm. Yeah, big, huge bourbon barrel. <sighs> I'm debating on whether this is a Imperial Stout, a Quad, or a Blend. I'm going to go with a Blend. Get big, huge bourbon barrel. Big, huge, red, rich cherryness. Um, a little bit of bourbon booziness, a heaping helping of vanilla and like creamy kind of uh, fluffy kind of coconutty kind of rich sweet vanilla-ness from that barrel. A soft smokiness to barrel too. But there's a nice richness to the beer itself. It's definitely, it's got to be a quad, right? It's got to be a quad. Uh, this is Jackie O's beer. And it's kind of my vibe I'm getting from it. Um, yeah, it, it's got this rich kind of... Um, Belgian quad character to it, but there's another, there's like a roasted malt component. That's why I'm kind of leaning in a blending portion of the show, but I want to lean more quad than anything else because it has that rich sweetness, that candied sugar that's taking it over the top. There's not much as far as a yeast ester. Actually, yeah, there is. There's a red fruitiness, but that all, it could also be coming from the bourbon, but I could also be getting a lot of that red fruit from a yeast ester and applying it to the bourbon barrel. Oh, man. I think I'm just going to have to drink it. Let's dive in. Cheers. Man. Now I'm throwing barley wine in the mix. Listen, it's a bourbon barrel aged beer. Tastely, it has some time on it. It's got rich, caramelly characters. That's where that kind of, I mean, that could be your Belgian candy sugar with the barrel, with time combined, but it, it, it also makes me want to lean barley wine. It's gotta be a blend. It's taking me in too many directions and me kind of like being so, it's this, it's this, it's this, not to be a blended beer. If it's one or the other, I'm not gonna to be too pooped about, or too pissy about it. The barreling is absolutely fantastic. The mouthfeel is where it should be. It's not super dense, super thick. It has that creaminess that you get from ultra, Fantastic quads and barley wines. Yeah. So, let's see. I mean, uh, uh, what do you want? What else do you want me to say? Sugar daddies, raisinets, um, toffee, caramel, all that stuff that is fantastic about quads and barley wines. But there's that roasted malt component that makes me still think I want to lean on the blending portion of the show. It's fantastic. It's delicious. It's barrel aged. It's a Jackie O's beer. If it's not, then kudos to whoever the fuck else did this. But it's a Jackie O's beer. I couldn't tell you which one. Um, it's it, 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 They do this kind of series of these super blends. It could be that. I forget the name of it. I've reviewed it before. Um, yeah, there you go. So that's 
So let's see what Jackie O's beer this is. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Okay. I thought it was gonna be all slick and pull that electrical tape off the bottom there, but it didn't come off in one piece. And I think once I get this bottom piece off, I think I can just rip the bottom, slip it off the top, hopefully. How about we do the grand reveal? Oh my god! I have not had it's this is right. Where the fuck is it? It's I have this beer. Ah, oh, this is a really good beer. Okay. It's their skipping stone. It's a burn barrel aged quad. I have the actual bottle up here. The original one. I think this is the first time I have my beer massive sticker stuck all over it. Um, yeah, that's this is this was the first Jackie O's beer that I ever had. To be perfectly honest with you, um, this this came courtesy of my buddy Ryan. Um, yeah, it's Burn Barrel Age Skipping Stone. It's a Belgian style quad. So, okay, we're there. Um, quad L Age Burn Barrels. I'm seeing if they changed the label at all. Um, let's see. I think they, yeah, they didn't even change any of the verbiage on it, which is pretty cool, to be perfectly honest with you. This was um, bottle eight. This one was bottle eight eighty one of three twenty five um, two thousand and fourteen. Um, like I said, this is the first Jackie O's beer I ever had. Uh, my buddy Ryan just kind of laid it on me. It was fantastic. I love that beer. Um, and it, this one actually, I'm gonna tell you right now, for some, it tastes kind of better than I remember that one being. Even though I really dug that one, thirteen um, percent. We still at the same ABV. I'm curious is about that. Hmm, this one doesn't have an ABV on it, I don't think. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, this one over here, da, da, da. on the side, I'll read the whole shtick for you. In early 2011, we began experimenting with Trappist yeast, crafting some of the traditional Abbey ale style ales. Initially, three beers were designed and brewed. Each one was named after one of the three watersheds that feed Athens County. Shade Abbey, Raccoon Double, and Hucking Triple. When it came time to brew a fourth, a quad, we thought long and hard about what to name it. Through reflection, the innocence of act, innocent act of skipping stones skimmed to the surface. A timeless action of nature and motion inspired a beer both rich and elegant burn barrel skipping stone exudes powerful notes of caramel, dark fruit, spice, and oak. A beautiful beer to imbibe in subtle surroundings when the mind can roam. Um, yeah, this is a great beer, man. This is an absolutely fantastic beer. Um, it, it's, it's it, you know, I'm like I said, I'm totally cool with them being like, okay, it was a blend. It definitely has barley wine vibes to it. There's a slight roasted malt character that is just fantastic. Um, it's very subtle, but it's there, at least for me. And that's what really kind of led me into that kind of blending portion of the show because a barley wine in a quad they can especially when you hit barrels can kind of blur lines there's gonna be a lot of blurred lines involved and um so i have no problem with that especially because when you're dealing with that belgian kidney sugar and especially with a little bit of time how old is this one 2018 version so it's not that old um but yeah fantastic beer i'm totally okay with uh what i said about the beer i think i pretty much fucking nailed it um you know it, He's from Ohio, Anthony, and this is was an absolutely 100% world-class level barrel beer. How many of those are in Ohio? You can count them on one hand uh, or one digit. Maybe, you know, one hand. Let's go one hand. We don't want to offend anybody. No, definitely. There's other people that can do it. No, I'm thinking of Chicago. Anyway, tangent. Um... But yeah, you know, I immediately wanted to go to Jackie O's, but uh, you know, I, I fucking nailed it. Why am I apologizing when I get shit right? Um, yeah, this is fantastic beer. One of the better Belgian barrel aged beers. That have, let's cut that out, whole shit. I talked about the taste. I talked about how good it is. Is one of the better be be better. Rewind words. Better barrel aged quads that I've had as of late. Yes, absolutely. Um, it's definitely probably up towards the top. I've had some pretty good ones as of late, too. This one is up there. Value and availability. Uh, Jackie O's stuff, I don't know, 15 bucks, give or take. I mean, that's kind of, you know, a little steep. Hopefully this is cheaper. I don't know. Let me know, Anthony. And leave you with, if you like what we like this. If you like Belgian quads, you like barrel-aged beers, you like barrel-aged beers, and you like good barrel-aged beers. This is going to do you proper. Jackie O's, no, I mean, they're pretty much known as one of the more, more better. 
let's go there, English. Uh, one of the more preeminent barrel aging programs in the States, at least I think. I think a lot of people think the same. So, you know, it's no surprise that they it produce a world-class barrel aged beer like this. And, uh, yeah, yeah, if you like those kind of beers, this is definitely worth picking up. There you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, down there, if you want to talk about it, Massive Beers. If you want to check me out through the social media, stuff, Beer Massive. Where did I put that sticker? I want to show you the Beer Massive sticker again. Could have, didn't have to do my whole spiel. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Where did I put it? Actually, I know where I put it. I put it right there. This is where you go. If you want stickers, let me know. I'll send you stickers. I have a whole pile of these. I don't send them out to people. So if you want one of these suckers, go get them. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice little barrel-aged jammer right now. And hope we'll see you next time. Cheers.